thing I do think about is if I ever, if uh, my life ever got bad enough that it was just game over for me, I would just uh, bad people, and I would make, I would be detailed, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, you wouldn't be able, to, you wouldn't be able to look back at this podcast and see who I was talking about. <laughs> How about you, Shane? Who would you, uh, if you got to, you know, sneak in the window at nighttime? I mean, whoever your preference of is. Honestly, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have one. I know that sucks for the uh, no, podcast. Fine. I mean, somebody people talk about people. It's like actually a it's pretty horrible thing. It is right. You think I would never, it? I would never kill anybody that I know. Yeah, I would just kill people who who need to be just randoms. <laughs> no, no, not no way. Just like people who are like uh, objectively evil. But I think you can t- make that decision on someone, you know, and you catch them in the middle of the day. Like, I hear things, and I'm just like, this happens. You're evil. Just, yeah, <laughs> You're no, going that's down. it. I go yeah. to my truck, I'm getting a cord. Yeah, but I mean people whose evil is, like, uh, has far-reaching implications, not just, like, your average or every ordinary person. Could have that guy at the bar. Which guy? The There's a dude, we were sitting at the hotel bar last night, or two nights ago, and this guy was like, these two dudes were talking, and the one guy, we just overheard him, and he was like, you're a pilot, man? I respect the hell out of that. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the craziest statement I've ever heard. Yeah. And the other guy wasn't a pilot. He was, <laughs> he was Jack, dude. He was just a roided out Jack, dude. He was like, yeah, it's crazy up there. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just trying to f- this bartender. That's cool. It was tough. He, and his his explanation for respecting pilots, he was like, I was just in Rochester. <laughs> like, what? what the? F-? They were there all there? Yeah, up in the air, fucking big pilots. <laughs> The aviator. Yeah, that's lingered. I would have got those kids at RISD. That was tough. RISD kids got we go. We went in there. They were literally laying on the ground coloring. They're so gay. Mm. They were coloring. That was the, whatever that class was, they were throughout this building we they were gotta in. They got to be ejected. I'm a RISD sitting kid. On the ground. I'm guilty. Did you sit on the ground and they color? They got to be ejected. Dude, there was one class where they had um, <laughs> this gay guy who uh, he was like, my introduction to him, like the first day, he used the word f- and then he went. He went on to explain what the word f- meant, uh, as if it were like a, a rare word or something. And then he said, um, he made. He said something about having a f- for a bigger man. And then he looked at me, <laughs> and uh, his his, all, his whole body of work, <clears throat> his entire body of work is like uh, Africans with AIDS. Like he's obsessed with Africans with AIDS. Like you go to his website, and it's just. 30 pages of like sweaty, emaciated, skeletal, like black as night, like blue, dark purple Africans with AIDS out the wazoo. And he makes like video installations about how, about like just how rich with AIDS they are. <laughs> and uh, his, his bit, the big exercise there that I remember was um, he had us hold the camera to our body and roll around with it and do like yoga poses with Jesus the camera. Christ. For real. That's a real thing. It sounds like I, grand. That sounds like I made it up to, oh, art school is so crazy we did this. That's not made up. That's a yeah. real thing. No, we, we did. saw it. They were laying on the floor <clears throat> in the building, in front of doors, on steps, just all of them drawing the same thing. It was like charcoal doodles. Yeah. It's crazy. Expensive, too. They didn't even look up at us. We just walked around. They were, They're it was crazy. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Step right on their back. Yeah, we did. We had to step over a guy. We went into the nature, the bug building. The we bug building's bugs. nice. Yeah, that was. That's nice. cool. That you was saw cool. all the all the taxidermied bugs. And yeah, that it was is kind of cool. But that's like a that's like a holdout from like old back in the day. Like professor, this we found these on the black continent of darkest <laughs> Africa. These are rare bugs. Like that type of that's when it was that type of art school. When it was good. Yeah. Yeah, when it was, uh, I, I like thinking about the Africans when they see that guy, your professor coming, mm-hmm. when he flew back to Ghana for the like the ninth. Well, time, they all cheer like because this. he, yeah. they all cheer because he has um, money. He brings them uh, candy corn and things they've never set eyes upon. Things tough to, tough to process mm-hmm. for their uh, broken down uh, yeah. immune, <laughs> immune system. Things that are good for their guts. <laughs> I would like them to be really disheartened at all the. F- they have to do when he's there. That is the one part. When they're like, oh, no. It's, it's like the whorehouse thing. When the whorehouse comes and the big jack soldiers are there, as opposed to like the, the library teachers that are just going like, to let them like pet them on the head mm-hmm. versus like the guys that are like the bodybuilders that want to like butt all night. Mm. <laughs> like the $100 is the worst way. Yeah. And they're like, oh, God, here we go. Trucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like just ready the, to rail. The uh, massage parlor scene in Ottawa right now is probably, they're probably <laughs> oh. not, they're not happy. Oh. Why? What's going on? 